Hey, hey, team. I heard you. Hope this video finds all of you doing well. I'm not exactly sure when you will see this video, but I will tell you that I am currently making it two days after the severe weather that we had. Uh, I want to show you a little bit about the uh, the area where my brother lives. Uh, his his area was hit by the tornado. Thankfully, he's fine. Uh, his house did did uh, have some damage, but it could have been far far worse. And I want to talk to you a little bit about how all of this ties in to another aspect of PE about being a good teammate. So I'm going to show you a clip of the little river that's in the Conestoga River that's uh, near my house. You know, I've showed you how it was flooded and I showed you how the water had gone down. Well, guess what? It's flooded again. So I'll show you a clip of that and then I'll show you some footage of uh, the damage in his area. And then I'll be back in just a little bit to talk to you some more. Everything's good at the house, but I was going to show you, that's that bridge that I stand on. Do my videos, show y'all how high the water is. I'm standing in my neighbor Eddie's house, or at my neighbor Eddie's house. And you can see, that's probably the highest I've seen the water here. One other time I've seen it over the bridge. Usually it's just over that area, washes out the road quite frequently. But you can see lots and lots and lots of flooding going on. Can't even make it to the other side. So my other neighbors, they're kind of landlocked right now. Can't get across the road. But anyways, hope this video finds you all safe, finds you well. You're in my thoughts and prayers. We'll be checking on you. I'm coming into my brother's subdivision to help, help him out in his house. And you can see the tornado went right through his subdivision. But I want you to look all of these vehicles all of these vehicles are not the owners of these homes some are but a lot of them are just people coming to help and you may have heard the saying before uh, look for the good and you heard me say in an earlier video find the good and praise it and this is exactly what i'm talking about when bad things happen find the good look for the good recognize it praise the good because there are good things that come out of terrible circumstances. Here are some of the pine trees on the side of my brother's yard. So we have lots of cleanup to do. The neighbors, bless their heart, they did not fare so well, but luckily nobody was injured, hurt, but just a hard, hard hit area and we got his roof covered up so his roof won't be leaking anymore most of his damage was in the back but at least now we don't have to worry about that we'll put some strips down secure the tarp all will be good on the roof Well, you can see he was very, very fortunate that there wasn't more damage and lucky that the, the pine trees right beside his house blew away from his house and not toward it. Um, very thankful that my brother wasn't hurt, nor anybody in his little community was hurt. Um, but you may be thinking, Coach, how does that have anything to do with being a good teammate? Well, in the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, and early 2000s, there was a gentleman who had an, a children's educational show on TV, and his name was Mr. Rogers. And Mr. Rogers told the story about when he was a little boy and watching the news on TV or listening to the news on the radio, sometimes he would worry and get scared about the bad things that were happening. And his mother would always tell him, look for the helpers. 
Look for the people doing good. And so you might be thinking, what does that have to do with being a good teammate? You've heard me say, find the good and praise it. And in that community, there was a lot of good going on. Right now, today as this is being filmed, there is more good happening in that community. There is good being done in the Cleveland area where the tornado touched down. Find the good and praise it. And I'm going to take it one step further. Look for the good and praise it. Look for the helpers. And then somehow find a way to be a helper. That is being a good teammate. You see, it doesn't just relate to a sports team, a basketball team, a football team, and helping that way. It relates to life in general. Because I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be 100% real with you. Okay? Trouble and hard times are unavoidable in life. You will have trouble and you will have hard times. There will be natural disasters. There will be family members who get sick. Those kinds of things are unavoidable. But I can tell you this. It won't rain always. The sun will shine again. And I can tell you one of the best ways to get through those hard times and those troubles is by being a good teammate, doing something to help someone else. So you may also be thinking, coach, I can't do that. I can't climb on a roof and put a tarp on it or run a chainsaw and cut trees. And I know that and I understand that. But there are different ways you can help right now at your current age. There's different ways that us adults can help. And the thing is, you find your own natural way to help. Sometimes it's something as simple as a phone call and telling somebody that you love them and that you're thinking about them. Sometimes it's something as simple as drawing a card for them, and it brings so much joy to their heart. Sometimes, and this is one that I am terrible at. This is a weakness of mine. My strength is I'm a doer. I'm a problem solver, and I want to fix everything. My wife will come home. She'll tell me of a problem. She'll tell me something, to add, and I naturally want to jump into action and fix it. But my weakness is when it comes down to just sitting and listening to her. Because sometimes she doesn't want the problem fixed. She doesn't want the problem solved. And sometimes there isn't an easy, quick fix to the problem. Sometimes she just wants to get it out. She just wants to talk. And you can be that to someone. I saw that taking place in my brother's community. There was uh, a couple of houses that had elderly homeowners there and there were just people sitting on the porch with them and that helps ease the calmness it helps it it helps bring calmness it helps ease the anxiety the stress and the worry of what goes on so all that being said find ways to be a good teammate when bad things happen find the good and praise it Look for the helpers. Look for the people doing good. And then try to find a way to be a helper. I told you in that, in that last video clip, past video clip, that not all of those people, not all those vehicles that you saw there were homeowners. Some of them were homeowners. Some of them were contract workers that people had already called to come out and start repairs and clean up. And some of them were just volunteers coming to see how they can help. So it's very heartwarming that in times of trouble that you see this good come about. So I want to encourage you, stay active. Always stay active. Find something to be thankful for and say it out loud. The things that I've been thankful for, I'm thankful that my family was okay. I'm thankful that you, my Valley View family, we're okay. I'm thankful that uh, during that severe weather, there was a tornado heading straight for where 
I live, my area, my community, and I'm thankful it never touched down. I'm thankful, again, for great neighbors because while that was going on, my neighbors called me and they told me, Victor, by the way, if you didn't know, that's my first name. Victor, get over here. Get, come over here and get in our basement. And I did. I went over and got in our basement. And um, I could hear, I could hear the tornado. It just, it was, it was still in the atmosphere. It never touched down. And it was a super eerie feeling, the, the, the difference in the feeling of pressure in the air. Um, and I'm also thankful for my coworkers who were concerned. Uh, they text, they called to check on, on me and my family. So lots to be thankful for. And I'm thankful for all of those that I saw that are out helping and that are out doing good. They're not dwelling on the bad. They're not being stressed and bogged down by the bad that's going on. They're focusing on the good, how to help people, being a good teammate. Okay, so I love you all. I'm thankful all of you are okay. And I can't wait, whenever it is, for us to get together again and get back to some normalcy. But in the meantime, know that you are loved, know that you are missed, and we'll see you soon. Hey, also remember, if you need some ideas for at-home physical activity, you can follow my Twitter page. I'll put the handle right down here, at Coach V Amos. Uh, somebody did make me aware last week that they went to it, but they couldn't really view it. I think they had to request permission. Uh, so I went in my privacy settings, and evidently it was too private. What can I say? I'm a private person. But I think I have gone in and corrected that, so you should just be able to follow me now and see everything. If you can't, let me know. Contact me at vamos at bradleyschools.org. That is my email, vamos at bradleyschools.org. And say, hey, coach, I tried to get in, but it wouldn't let me. But I think everything is A-OK -okay now. Again, I try to post daily activities on there. Um, PE, PE teachers are some of the most sharing people. We have a great, great network of PE teachers and Bradley County's PE teachers are phenomenal. Uh, Coach Daryl Canada, a good friend of mine at Black Fox Elementary, he has posted at home outdoor games that he and his family have created, made them up themselves. So his video link is on my Twitter page. And then also just PE teachers that I have met all around the nation from going to PE conferences or through social media, I've shared a lot of their ideas. Um, one of the companies that I, I use their lessons, their standard-based lessons in PE class, Open Curriculum, they have made their at-home section available com completely free. So that link is also on my Twitter page. From time to time, I do post ideas on uh, Valley View PTO Facebook page and Class Dojo. I posted one about a, a sidewalk chalk exercise routine that you can do. I don't want to bombard you with those kinds of things. If you need help, by all means, I will provide it for you. If you want something specific, Again, contact me by email, and I'll find you something uh, specific. It's hard, Pacific, specific for you to do. Um, I'll be more than happy to do that for you, but I don't want to bombard you. I have friends. They're posting daily videos of themselves working out in the garage. I'm pretty sure you would get sick and tired of seeing me working out, and I don't even have a garage. I'd be out here in, in the yard somewhere doing it. So, But whatever you need. I'll do my best to help you out with that, but lots and lots and lots of resources on my Twitter page. Um, I know this video has been a little more uh, in the serious nature. We just went through a scary time, but uh, don't worry. Things will get better, and I promise I'll be back to my silly, goofy self doing silly things on this video to try to entertain you and bring a smile to your face. Hopefully some laughter as well. Uh, again, I miss y'all terribly. 
I love y'all dearly, and hopefully we'll be seeing you very, very soon. Y'all take care.